Hey, Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, we're gonna look at how we build a priming circuit for a centrifugal pump. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so before we get going, let's define what each of these parts actually are. So what is a centrifugal pump? Well, a centrifugal pump is a regular hot tub jet pump or a regular hot tub circulation pump. And these are pumps which are fed water by gravity. So they actually need to be underneath the water line and the pipework needs to be arranged as such that gravity can deliver water to these pumps. These pumps are not able to suck air, so they're not able to prime themselves. So priming a pump is where we remove the air from the lines so that the pump is only moving water rather than water and air. So a centrifugal pump doesn't have the capabilities to prime itself. So what's a priming circuit? Well, a priming circuit, as we will see, is a means of priming a centrifugal pump. So why would we want to do that? Well, well actually, let's take a few steps back and look at how I actually came up with this layout anyway for a customer. So I was doing a build with a customer. We designed the, the whole project on centrifugal pumps that were designed to be below ground. And, and this was done from the outset. This was a custom design project. The challenge with this project was the distance from the hot tub to the control room, which was around, around 15 meters. So that's around 50 feet from the hot tub to the control room. So there's a couple of things we do when this occurs. You either go for a bigger pump or better still, a slightly smaller pump than is, is, is maximum, but bigger pipes. So bigger pipes allow for more flow and you can actually decrease the amount of resistance that the water has on the inside of those pipes by using larger pipes. So that's what we did. We actually put three inch pipes between the hot tub and the control room, which was gonna give us a pretty much a, a net zero loss in terms of flow. However, during the build, when the contractor laid the pipe work, he wasn't able to get the pipe work as low as he needed. So what that meant was that pipework ended up being slightly above, if not level to the water line of the hot tub. So what does that mean? Well, it means that gravity isn't gonna deliver water from the hot tub down those pipes into the pump in the control room. Even though the pump itself was physically below the water line, the pipes that were feeding it weren't. So we had a bit of a problem. The first thing that we could have done was change those pumps to self-priming pumps. So self-priming pumps are normally associated with swimming pools and what they do is they're actually able to, to suck air. So they can suck air, suck the actual water through the lines and eventually prime themselves. So purge all the air out of the lines and, and just then move the water around. However, the challenge in this particular instance was the, the size and the distance. So the size of the pump required and the distance to the hot tub. So a large swimming pool pump, and we're on domestic grade here, the largest that we could get, the most powerful, was a three horsepower. And as I've said many a time on this channel, the horsepower and the flow rates of a swimming pool pump don't correlate directly to the horsepower and the flow rates of a hot tub pump. Hot tubs are designed to move small amounts of water quickly, swimming pools, large amounts of water slowly. So we had a bit of a dilemma and the result was that there just wasn't enough pressure. There was not enough flow and that was kind of gonna be expected. So the first thing to do was we actually needed a, a self-priming circulation pump. And the reason that we needed that was we wanted to be able to draw the water from the pool or from the tub into the control room. 
Now, if we'd have known that the pipes weren't deep enough from the start, we could have put a non-return valve at the end of each of those three inch runs, and that would have done the trick. The water wouldn't have been able to trickle back into the hot tub. So it, the system, once we manually have primed that first, it would have stayed primed. So that's another option is if you have this scenario, put a non-return valve in, it keeps the, the water in the pipes and stops it draining back into the tub by gravity. We didn't have that option. The pipes were already sunk into the concrete in the pool. So we needed another way. So we set up and you can see the setup behind me here. You can see that we have a circulation pump that I'll highlight now. We are gonna use that to actually prime the system. And the way that we're gonna do it is we're gonna turn the circulation pump on and there's a series of gate valves that again, you can see behind me here that allow us to divert the flow of the water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna divert the flow initially to force the water and the air through the jet pump that you can see highlighted in the uh, diagram behind me. What this is doing is it, it's actually priming the jet pump. And the way that it does it is because self-priming pumps actually work on a, it's a pressurized system once they've actually primed up, we're gonna use that circulation pump to maintain the, the prime of the system. So we're gonna keep the air out of the system, we're gonna keep the water from draining back into the tub using that circulation pump, that self-priming circulation pump. So once we've forced the water through the, the actual jet pump to prime it, we're then gonna divert the water back and we're actually running this, this is a three pump system behind me. However, this diagram here shows how we can do it with just two pumps. So we have the circulation pump, we have the jet pump, and then we've got those series of gate valves that allow us to switch the water flow it allows us to prime up the jet pump. We then alter the flow to put, rather than having the pumps in series, which they will be to prime, we're gonna put them back into parallel, which then gives us the power of the jet pump. And that was key for this particular project. We needed the power of the five horsepower jet pump along those long runs to then power the 16 jets that we had in the hot tub that was 15 meters or 50 feet away from the control room. And the setup worked really well. So this is a setup that we can use if you have a tricky situation like we did with a long run of pipe, you need a powerful jet pump, which has to be a hot tub pump, but it's also above ground. So we can use a self priming circuit on this kind of a system to deliver the results and the results are perfect it works just as you would expect you get all of the power that you would expect from that five horsepower pump and once it's primed it doesn't lose its prime because the self-priming circulation pump holds that and it, it keeps it in a pressurized system food for thought i'm sure i hope i haven't confused you too much any questions at all, hit me up in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.